I guess we've been on a seaweed kick because we've been craving a lot of different seaweed meals. Seaweed. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video is going to be a quick Trader Joe's haul. So we needed a few things. We needed a few meats and veggies so we figured we would just go to Trader Joe's because we could get everything we needed from there. So I'm just gonna go through what we got today. So if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And let's start with some produce. So first blueberries like always for my yogurt. I just like to use this with a bunch of different granola actually. I really switch up the granola I use but I find that I always want blueberries in my yogurt. I used to do like blackberries, raspberries, strawberries but they just went bad so quickly and I just find that blueberries are just really good and I can also use them in baked oats. So it's just always good to have these on hand. Sometimes I'll get like strawberries and raspberries but I can always count on my blueberries. <laughs> anyway, I needed some yellow onion just for some recipes. I'll probably use this in my veggie mix. I usually switch off between red onion and yellow onion and I last did red onion, so next time I'll do yellow. I got some green peppers because I'm actually going to be doing stuffed bell peppers. I had a memory pop up from Instagram from a year ago where I made the stuffed bell peppers that we used to eat a lot and we haven't made it in a really long time so that just reminded me about that recipe. So we're going to be making that soon. Those are really good and I usually just use ground turkey for that. I got some red bell peppers for veggie mix. We needed some bananas. We just froze the rest of our bananas for smoothies because now that I've been making protein shakes every day, Adam decided he's going to too because the blender is just that that easy for him to use. Like I said before, I never used to like using the whole big blender we had. So having this mini, I'll show it again. So having this uh, little blender, he just used it this morning, but um, it's easy enough for him to do. He can clean it on his own and he actually does. So it's just good. We just have to make sure we keep it charged because it's just uh, battery charged. But anyway, because of that, we have been flying through frozen bananas because we both use them. Uh, that's the main fruit we usually use for them. So we had to get more bananas even just to freeze. Then we needed some cucumbers. I like that at Trader Joe's they have just the six pack like this because sometimes we'll get them at Sam's Club and they just go bad so quick with the big bags that I get because uh, I find I'm the one who eats them more. But I like to use them in bowls and we're going to be doing a tuna bowl. So I'm excited to use those for that. And then we want to have shrimp tacos. I guess we're on like a seafood kick because we have been craving a bunch of different meals that we use seafood in. But anyway, uh, I got this because I make a slaw out of it with some Greek yogurt and sweet chili sauce. And I don't know, I'll see what I do. But we like to use this to make a slaw for shrimp tacos. Then I needed some edamame. They haven't had it for the past like five times that we've gone there. And I just love it because it's already shelled. Because some of the frozen types don't come shelled like this. And this way I just heat it up in the microwave and add it to our recipes. So a lot of times I'll use it for poke style bowls or even like Mexican style bowls. Uh, it works really well in there. But also I like to use it for sesame noodles. So we go through those bags pretty quickly. Okay, so I got two things of ground chicken because this time around I'm going to make ground chicken burgers instead of turkey burgers. I did turkey burgers last time. So that's why I got that. It's four points for four ounces and I usually get five burgers out of each thing. So it comes out to like three points for a burger. And then I also got this ground turkey. So as much as we like the 99% lean turkey, we've also been having more of like the 92% lean just because it is really different. The texture, the taste, uh, we really do notice a difference when it comes to like taco meat and stuff like that. So I got this to do tacos one night because we've been enjoying that. To us, we think it just even tastes a little bit more like, like Taco Bell meat because we really break it up and then use the seasoning and it's just really good. So still we like to use the 99% lean for a bunch of recipes, but sometimes it's good to just use the 92%. It's four points for four ounces or 170 calories. And the chicken was 160 calories. So it's pretty much just more comparable to the chicken that we use, but it helps to just mix it up even when it comes to that because it really does change the meals. My favorite thing from Trader Joe's, their light cheeses. So this is their light shredded cheese blend. This has light mozzarella, light Monterey Jack, and light cheddar cheese. And then we also just got the light mozzarella. So the mozzarella is 60 calories for an ounce or two points. It scans as one point, but it's actually two. And then the three cheese blend is 80 calories for an ounce and it's three points. And this I like to use more for like quesadillas or eggs. The mozzarella I find myself using on literally everything. I use it for so many different dishes. So I just really like that it melts really well and it tastes good and it's low point. Okay, we got some dips. So 
We already have two buffalo dips in the fridge right now, um, but this one is just too good to pass up. We can leave it. It actually is fine until April 15th, so we won't open it. We'll go through it fast enough. But anyway, this is their buffalo style chicken dip. This is my favorite buffalo dip out of any of the buffalo dips we've tried. I used to like the Sam's Club one more, but I'm finding I like this one more because it's just runny and I like the flavor and I don't know. This one has definitely become my favorite along with the cauliflower one from Aldi. But anyway, this is 60 calories for two tablespoons or three points. And I like to use those mini cucumbers I showed and just like cut them in half and scoop some on. That's a really good snack. It's really satisfying. But also we just like to have it on wraps. We like to use it with tortilla chips, pretzel crisps. It's just a good snack. A lot of times when I start making dinner, when Adam gets home from work, we'll just snack on some pretzels and dip. I've had a few people recommend this everything with the bagel Greek style yogurt dip and I don't know how we've never tried it. Uh, it's been there for a while and like it's one of those things they haven't gotten rid of. So we're excited to try this finally. It's a Greek style yogurt with sesame seeds, sea salt, poppy seeds, garlic, and onion. So this would honestly be really good just on a bagel I feel like. Um, but with pretzel crisps we could use it as a spread on a wrap. So I'm excited to mess around with this. We might save it for our taste test video because we also got this. Oh really quick though. Uh, this dip is three points for three tablespoons. It's 60 calories and yeah, we're excited to try that. So we might do that one in the review video, but we also want to try this in the snack review video. So this is the Trader Joe's chocolate hummus. We've tried another brand before like way long time ago and we actually liked it. We dipped strawberries in it and like pretzels. I think I liked it best with pretzels. But anyway, I just thought this would be fun to try again because I don't really remember exactly what it tasted like and I've never tried the Trader Joe's one. It's two points for two tablespoons, 50 calories, two grams of protein, and it's just made with garbanzo beans. So I'm excited to try this. Okay, so I mentioned recently that we finally tried these cauliflower gnocchi. They are so good air fried. We haven't tried them any other way, um, but what I do is I pretty much just coated them in a little bit of olive oil spray, some like garlic salt and different seasoning, and then some parmesan cheese and then we air fried them and they were so good so i don't know i think i might do that again but also we've been talking about chicken gnocchi soup and how much we like that from olive garden so i might try to do like a chicken gnocchi soup with it i don't know how that'll work but i'm gonna try to figure it out and that is three points for one cup there's two and a half cups in the bag it's 140 calories and yeah it's just made from cauliflower so those are really good Okay, I am so excited about this and these aren't even really like low point or anything but these are gluten free they haven't had these in a long time. We tried them a while back and they're so good. I don't know what it is. They have like kind of like a garlic flavor to them or something. I don't know what it is about them, but they are breaded chicken breast nuggets. For four pieces, it's five points, 200 calories, 16 grams of protein, and they are raw. So we learned that the first time they're uncooked and we cooked them in the air fryer and cut them open and they were still not done inside. So make sure you cook them all the way, but we cook them in the air fryer and they're Perfect. I don't know what it is about these. I just, they're kind of similar to Purdue, but not really. They're really good. So we got two bags of these because I was excited to see they were back in stock and they're selling that again. We are waiting for the day when the queso pops back up on the shelves too, because I feel like it's coming back. So this is another thing that we tried a little bit more recently. This is their chicken chow mein and I love noodles like this. So this is just a really good freezer meal to have. Again, I like to have these for when it's like pre-order week or just like a busier cookie week or even like filming week or something. Uh, these are really convenient to have in the freezer. A third of the package is 200 calories, nine grams of protein and four points. So last time I wanna say we just split it and it was like seven points for the whole serving for us. And I think I even added some more vegetables, but this is really good if you can find it. And I don't remember if it was that spicy. I don't think it was. I don't know, it's been a while since we've had it, so I'm excited to have this again. It's just a quick and easy meal. We only have one reduced guilt mac and cheese in our freezer, so I made sure to get three so we have an even number. <laughs> but anyway, we needed some reduced guilt mac and cheese. We were actually talking about how we haven't had this in a while. I think we just had it a lot and we kind of got burned out of it, but it is 10 points for one container. Uh, one package is 270 calories, 15 grams of protein. And what we do is we'll each just have our own and then we'll heat up some type of chicken and put it on there and he'll do a buffalo, I'll do barbecue. Uh, sometimes I'll throw like some jalapeno crisps. We'll do a lot of veggie mix. So we really just try to bulk them up and you can make such a good meal. My all time favorite like takeout meal is Noodles and Company pulled pork barbecue mac and cheese, which if you guys don't know, they just got rid of the pulled pork. Uh, at least ours did and the local ones around us, they don't have pulled pork anymore. So I'm guessing they got rid of it. So they switched it to their chicken, which is 
really good. I actually really like the Parmesan crusted chicken, but now I can't get my pulled pork mac and cheese anymore. So this is like a really close thing to it. When I use like some shredded chicken and barbecue sauce, and then like I said, the jalapeno, it really is similar to that takeout meal and like a third of the points. Okay, so we have had these also in the freezer for a little bit. We're really trying to go through our freezer and clean some stuff out, but then we're finding all the stuff that we really like. So we had these in there and we hadn't tried them, but these are cauliflower pancakes. So they're very similar to like a potato pancake and they were so good. We air fried them and honestly, we just ate them plain. Uh, I think I might've had a little sour cream on them, but so good. They are 170 calories for two pieces and there's six in the container. It's five points for two of the pieces and seven grams of protein. So I saw these and grabbed them right away, but then I also saw that they have just regular potato pancakes that look very, very similar. So I grabbed this and scanned it and it's actually four points for two pancakes. So it's 150 calories instead of 170. It's three grams of protein. So it is less protein um, by a decent amount, but I don't know. I thought we would just try these in the air fryer and compare them and see if it's worth the extra point for the cauliflower ones. So we're going to test those out and compare them. We seriously always need cans of tomato sauce when we go there. So grab two of those. They're zero points for the can and just really easy to make into a marinara for pizza, for pasta, uh, or like a dipping sauce. Then I've also been using these a lot more lately. These are their diced and fire roasted tomatoes with green chilies. So these I like to use for Mexican dishes. Sometimes I'll throw them in with rice and beans or like a bean and corn veggie mix. It just adds a little bit of spice to it, but they also haven't had their diced just regular tomatoes without the green chilies in a very long time. They had them today. So I also grabbed two of these. So these are their diced and no salt added tomatoes. And again, it's just a good zero point option that's really easy to throw into recipes. I'll use this for pasta sauce, for chili. So I was glad to see they had these back. Okay, next up, just some jasmine rice. We were out of it. We like to get the bigger bags from like Walmart and stuff, but just to hold us over until then. Um, I'll switch off between this and the brown rice, but I didn't see the brown rice. So this is just the regular jasmine rice. It is 160 calories for three quarter cup cooked rice. So it's nice that it tells you the amount cooked. Um, three grams of protein and it is six points for that serving. So this we just prep ahead in our rice cooker We leave it in containers and then we make a rice bowl out of it And that's pretty much what we use it for or if I'm gonna be making like a fried rice recipe I add some of this in and I just will usually have it in the fridge like I said So we always need some of that then chomps are still not available on their website so we just get the original turkey. I wish they had the other flavors, but they don't. Um, they just have like two of the beef ones and then the turkey. So two points for one chomps, 10 grams of protein, 60 calories. They're gluten-free, zero sugar. Uh, we just really like these. I like the texture, I like the taste. And yeah, the turkey are probably actually my favorite. I do like the turkey pepperoni and the jalapeno, but this will have to do for now. Okay, well I scanned these in the store. So these are ciabatta rolls. They just looked really good and I figured we could use them, I don't know, for some type of sandwich or something, or even to make like some sort of like garlic bread toast uh, when we have like a lower point pasta, like the edamame pasta from Aldi. But anyway, scanned them, they came up as five. I just actually tracked them and they're actually six points for one, which still isn't bad, uh, especially because they're pretty big and I love ciabatta, so this is worth the points for me. It's one roll is 210 calories, seven grams of protein, and like I said, six points, so. It's always frustrating when we come home and see that the nutrition isn't accurate when we scanned it because it's convenient to just scan in stores, but that'll be fine. It's one extra point. Then next, this has been my favorite. This is their spice chai. Uh, I already went through a whole box of it because I've been drinking it every day. Uh, so it's just like a regular tea bag. So what I do is I just fill my mug halfway. I let the tea bag soak for however long it says, like five to seven minutes. And then I'll use some of this collagen creamer. So these are the bloom collagen creamers. I just do a scoop and I found the vanilla and the cinnamon roll are my favorite, but the cinnamon bun is actually really good in coffee. So I try to just use the vanilla for the chai because you don't really taste that much of a difference. But anyway, I put a scoop in and then I usually fill it up with like a half cup of cashew milk and then I'll just microwave that to heat it up again so it's fully hot. And it is so good, it is so satisfying. And it's three points for the scoop of collagen. Then I haven't had these in a while. Uh, these are the chili and garlic cashews. These are one of my favorite snacks that they have. They are not too, I talk about this every time, but they're not like crazy coated. It's just got a light coating on them, a flavor, and it's really good. It almost tastes like spicy pizza goldfish to me. For a quarter cup, it's six points or 170 calories, which is 
really normal for nuts. Cashews are one of those things that I use my weeklies for. Okay, and then the last thing, we needed some Bear Bells, so this time we needed caramel cashew. We still have some cookies and cream and salty peanut left, so we grabbed a box of caramel cashew. One bar is six points, 200 calories, and 20 grams of protein, and these are just one of my favorite things to have after the gym, after a workout. So that wraps up everything. I was trying to beat Adam. Adam went to go pick up his car that was getting an oil change and I was trying to beat him and he just pulled up. So I actually, I'm gonna count this as beating him. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and let me know if there's anything I'm missing out on from Trader Joe's.